and try not to draw attention to yourself. The graphics are there. There's another way out. I will help you find it. Oh! Oh yeah! No! Oh! <laughs> I told you I, I I was so close to not interrupting it. Oh! I called it! Let's go! Music man! No! <laughs> Welcome to GT Not Live, where I just flew in from Los Angeles for the second time in a single week. My schedule is all over the map, and I found out that there's a FNAF trailer, which I am shocked by. I actually was stopped by someone in the middle of the airport uh, as I was changing over flights, uh, who was a fan, which was really cool. He was super nice, and he's like, oh my gosh, have you checked out the FNAF? trailer it just dropped and i'm like well we were both on a plane and i didn't get internet so not yet but we'll get there um and so that my friends is what we're doing today as soon as i landed it's like matt get over here we're filming a thing right now and matt's like weren't you supposed to come in you know tomorrow and i'm like i flew back just for this i had a feeling actually when i woke up this morning i was like matt's back like I, <laughs> you could sense I, it i really sensed it and i was right and i woke up you and it was can you come over? And I was like, yep. There it is. On my way. <laughs> you sensed my presence entering North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. It's like, the, the state has changed. Something shifted. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, uh, no, I was supposed to come back today, actually, like late today. But the shoot that I was on ended uh, earlier than we suspected. And I'm like, hey, I miss Ollie. I miss being at home. We've got work to do. Like, it'll just be nice to be at home for a bit. And so I bumped up the flights and then this happened so anyway here it is friends this is exciting and i'm surprised by this because like i was predicting in previous kind of like freddie and friends reaction videos um i i thought that the trailer or something or the game itself would be dropping at the end of those uh so like kind of mid november ish or uh early november ish so this dropping right before halloween is really cool uh, so i'm excited i don't know what have you seen it, Matt? Do you know what, what's in store for me? I've seen it. You have? Yeah. I what? was on the Reddit. Oh, you're on the... Okay, yeah. good. Yay or, I, I yay or nay? Um, I think it's cool. Yeah? Yes. This, all of this surprises me because I feel like unless I am in the room forcing you to engage with Five Nights at Freddy's content, yeah. you avoid it like the plague. But see, now you're starting to, oh, you're starting to follow it. I, there's like certain mechanics from the trailer that I saw and I was like, that's pretty neat. Yeah? Like, I like that. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So. Let's, all right. Let's check it out. So anyway, without any further ado, let's dig into this. Uh, I'll pro let it play through once, just kind of without interrupting it. I'll try not to interrupt it. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'll try not to interrupt it. And then we'll go through and, and scroll through and we'll we'll pick it apart because I'm sure there's a bunch of like frame by frame secret stuff in here. Um, let's let's crank it up to 1440 oh. HD. It's not going to play. <laughs> we just broke this. We can't handle that. What are you talking about? Here we go. So we've seen that before. Ooh, Gregory. Hey, Chica. Thank you for visiting. What's Freddy eating? and the gang are pretty tired, but they'll be back again next week what? after a few days of scheduled maintenance. Oh, that's cool. I'm good. Hey! Okay, so he's wearing the watch. We see the watch. She could kind of attack Freddy us? Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex is now closed. Initiating Weird. nighttime protocols. Okay. No! Wait! I'm still here! See, so trapped overnight. We expected that. I called out. A lot of cheese stuff. Whoa, hey. I gotta buy me some dinner first. A lot of Chica. Okay, there's Manny. A lot of Chica. Oh, okay, so we're getting into Freddy. Yeah, uh, we expected this. And he's like, you're Mechabot. Recharge flashlight. You should be able to escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. This feels like a boss intro. Until then, keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. The graphics are there. another way out, I will help. Oh! Oh, yeah! No! Oh! I told you. I, I, I was so close to not interrupting it. Oh! I called it! Let's go! Music Man! No! <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah! Sorry. I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah! I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so invested in this one prediction. Because we've been reacting to all these things, and I've been making all these predictions as we've been watching all the, like, uh, Fazbear and Friends stuff. But the Music Man one, I'm like, you know what? I'd be so stoked if the six-legged creature that we see walk across this Music Man. That was one of those, like, Hail Mary shot in the darks. Yeah, buddy! Oh, man! Oh, I'm so excited. This game is already a win for me. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter. It got music. I don't even care about me. I think he's, like, one of the weirdest, strangest... I, I am excited to learn more about what I consider to be the strangest addition to the Five Nights at Freddy's roster as of Custom Night. So, uh, awesome. Okay, I already see details here that we're going to talk about, but here, we'll, we'll keep playing. Oh, this is a cool shot. Oh, epic. Oh, wow, everyone... <laughs> Ooh, okay, so she's weak to flashlights. Or, uh, telephoto. Chica is everywhere in this. Monty. These are great. Okay, so he's our big brute. That's bear! Please make your way to the front of the building, where you will be given novelty glasses, a voucher for one free soda refill, and where you will sign a legal disclaimer releasing us of all liability for anything that might have happened during your visit. Ah. Have an awesome night, and we'll see you again soon. Awesome. Whoa, hey! Would you like to take a short survey about your experience? I love it. That's great. Hey! All right, all right. That was one of the, like, five dates that we threw out during our various reactions. So, okay, so we got time. So it's not going to be mixed in with all the St. Jude stuff and us trying to, like, here's a live stream, and also we got Friday, Five Nights at Freddy's, and also. So, good. Well, that'll be kind of like our big end of the year thing. So we'll have St. Jude, we'll have a little bit of a break, and then we'll have all in on FNAF. Oh, cool. 12-16. All right. Wow! This is... Whew! Okay. That's a lot. Uh, there's a lot in here. There's a lot. Uh, initial reactions. Looks really... I, I'm really intrigued, and it doesn't look and feel the way I expected it to. Um, and a lot of the locations that we saw in previous teasers and trailers, I'm not seeing, right? Like, one of the big areas that really stood out in my mind from the initial reveals of the game were, like, the jungle gym area where the, like, the, the climbing ropes and ball pits and you saw, like, the, the night and day moon drop, whatever, sunshine guy running around uh, climbing through the tunnels and stuff. I don't think we saw any of that in here, which I'm surprised by. Um, surprised by the emphasis on Chica. I'm not exactly sure why she's such a focus. Uh, I mean, cool and all, but... Of all of them, she seems to be the main animatronic that you're avoiding, which is interesting. A lot of weird perspective shifts, uh, but I think on the whole, we felt pretty good. Like, I feel good about kind of the predictions that we were making, right? Like, hop into Freddy. Freddy is kind of your protector in this thing. Um, yeah, here, let's let's go through frame by frame. I, I'm already very hyped, very different as far as, like, a Five Nights at Freddy's game is concerned. It looks very different. It already feels very different. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So this is what we've seen before. Still no idea what staff stands for. So Gregory's trapped. Okay, so, so we are right about the gameplay of it being uh, one night and having to escape in the morning. So... Okay, so this is the first question I have. What is this? What is she eating? Like, it looks like she's, like, zombified, right? I see this, and it feels like a zombie thing. Um, you know, those classic zombie scenes, like a Resident Evil or whatever, where they're hunched over, you see them eating, and then all of a sudden, like, they turn it over their shoulder and they see you, right? Like, this is exactly what that shot is trying to recreate to me. Is that an animal? What? Can you tell what that is, Matt? No. Right? It, it, it does, it's not human. It looks mechanical. Here. We don't have uh, Photoshop pulled up, do we? No. Do, 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 Photoshop. Here we go. Let's, let's just check this out. I'm curious. Because I think this might impact a lot. 
uh, or tell us a little bit about like why Chica's going crazy. Like it looked like she was possessed or controlled by something. And then she finds this, wait, oh, did I press the wrong thing? I did. I don't know. I don't want your stock images. Get out of here. Custom, fine. Just go. Just go. Just give me a, just give me a blank template. There we go. That is the wrong way. Oh my God, why is default zoom out now? Okay, here we go. What is that? It looks like, here, let me see if I can actually color shift this. Uh, color balance. Let's try to get it out of the reds. That's not really helping. Add some yellow. What is that? Like, it looks like nails or, oh, 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 oh. I wonder if it's, Maybe like a trap? Like maybe she's been, like it looks like she's eating something, but maybe she's like manipulating a trap or dismantling a trap that we've set for. Cause I see this and I think of like bear trap or those things that you roll over on your tires that pop your tires. And so maybe it's her dismantling a trap that we've either laid for her or maybe she herself is setting the trap for us. Cause it looks like it has maybe bunny ears or something. It, oh no, that's probably more like shadows on the stacks of things. But yeah, that to me looks like a, a, a bear trap or something that maybe we've set for her to try and catch her. Okay, so here, let's go back. Oh, now I've lost everything. Okay, here we go. Enjoyed the show. Freddy and the gang are pretty tired, but they'll be back again. Now she's like laughing maniacally and she's suddenly got her beak again. So you'll notice when she's walking through the hall, she didn't have her beak, right? Oh, maybe, maybe, no, no, she, right, like, yeah. Oh, no, she does. It's back there. The only reason I care about this is, you know, the whole Chica and her beak thing. But yeah, that's her, that's her beak right there. So she has her beak the whole time. Because maybe she takes it off or puts it on and that, like, is when she's possessed by Afton. Okay, no. See, this, the evil... <laughs> you don't you don't expect Chica to pull a, like, a maniacal evil villain laugh like this. That's like full stage actually. <laughs> you know, no. <laughs> Which again makes me think that she has also become possessed by the glitch trap virus, right? I think that that is what we're seeing here is toy some reformed version of toy chica or whatever has been possessed by the glitch trap animatronic which is giving her this human like maniacal reaction because if she was just possessed or just a, an animatronic or just a robot you wouldn't see her i mean you could but based on kind of like the the logical consistency of this world i don't see the animatronics as we understand them to operate having like an evil laugh, right? But William Afton being this like very, stere very stereotypical over the top villain, I could see him doing this sort of thing. So to me, this says she is possessed by Afton and a lot of these malfunctioning animatronics are. I like that you you, uh, you accuse her overacting evil as stage acting. <laughs> I, I, feel, mean, I feel a little bit attacked. Just feel a little when bit. When you're on stage, you're far away from people and that's you true. have to be a little over exactly. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta play to the rafters, Exactly. Man. And that's what she's doing. That is, she's, she's, she's living her best again life. Next week after a few days of scheduled maintenance. Okay, so now she attacks us, kind of. Freddy Fazbear's mega pizza so that's a weird transition here. So first, okay, we see his watch, which Next is cool. After a few days of scheduled maintenance. Freddy. See, so this, this to me, feels like it's it's either presenting us with the question of is this real or not. Like, are we hallucinating this? Is this a dream? Or is or was that just an artistic transition? I could see it working either way. I could see it either being a transition of like, wow, that was a scary jump scare into. Uh, this and it's it's kind of a creative way to hide the cut but more so seeing her jump at us and then seeing her wrecked like this makes me think that there's going to be this dichotomy or this this um 
this debate in the game, right, of what we're seeing, is it real or not? Like, is this the... Again, to the theme of Five Nights at Freddy's and going back to uh, Scott's uh, messages back in FNAF 4, like, what is seen in the eyes of a child can be misconstrued. I'm paraphrasing or rephrasing. Uh, what is seen in the eyes of the child might be misconstrued or whatever. And so I could see this being like, is it his nightmares? Is it a dream? Are they real? Are they not? Is he just scared that he's trapped in a mall or are they actually attacking him? I think that might be one of the recurring or running themes of this, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, so real, I mean, we're kind of panning here quickly, so there's, it might be hard to make things out because of the blur effect. Uh, but okay, we see Bonnie Bowl, we see Roxanne Wolf, but this is giving you a good sense of everywhere in there, prizes. So, so this is your, hey, look at how big of a place that you get to explore. It, it looks to be like we're gonna be exploring both levels because in previous trailers we've seen L chips. So that seems to indicate that we might get over to Bonnie Bowl, which would be exciting. Gator Golf down there we knew. The prize corner, I think prize corner is another thing we've known that we're gonna get to check out at some point. So again, if prizes are on the second floor, it looks like we're exploring both top and bottom floors, which means a lot. Okay, so nighttime protocols. This actually reminds me a lot of Poppy Playtime, where they kind of allude to Huggy Wuggy as like the security, you know, we have security procedures and they're gonna attack you. Feels like a similar concept here where the animatronics have been released as security protocols to protect them all at night, right? So it also has callbacks to FNAF 2, right? Where and this was the, my very first reaction to seeing Chica and stuff, which is she is is she the toy animatronics repurposed for a new generation? Because in FNAF 2, all of the toy animatronics were equipped with the security device, the malfunctioning security devices uh, that would scan people and say like you're good, you're bad. And so hearing that she might be involved in, in this like security protocol for them all makes me think that there's more to that theory than just like, they look the same, they're both missing their beak, look at the similar shape and design of them. Um, I suspect maybe, again, that's another clue leading to these are security devices because they were equipped with that security software from FNAF 2. No, no, wait, it's still here. Okay, it's still here, so that, again, like, gives us the whole Gregory thing, that he's stuck in here. Here's our, our friendly security guard again. Looking helpful? She's secretly Vanny. She's gonna kill us. Unless unless they've completely like pulled the rug out from under us and it's like, nope, she's actually not. Even though you thought she was. Are, Anyone... are we not the security guard? No, we're Gregory. We're the little kid. I don't oh. I don't I don't think we're the I don't think we're the security guard. Okay. Well Cause... let's 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 see. I think I think we'll have more clues as we walk. It's still here. See, she's awake again. They keep going back to Chica. It's so weird. Oh, it, huh. I didn't notice this, actually. There's Freddy. So on this big stage, he's there. He's And he's the only one there. Which, again, uh, he is separate from everyone else. For some reason, his protocol is different, or he's not infected like everyone else. Yeah, he's just hanging out. Maybe waiting for us. Like, maybe we can drop off the suit in multiple locations and he's just waiting for us there. Or maybe he's, like, charging or something. Okay, this is this is where we get to some weird stuff now. I, this guy! I, I don't know what to make of this guy. This guy's weird. Uh, let's see. Anything with that Chica jump scare? Again, is it real? Is it not? Is she formed? Is she broken? That seems to be kind of a recurring question. I don't know. She does really look to be kind of shattered. I'm, I'm trying to see if there's anything I can notice in the patterns of her breakage. Like, do we know what happened to her? Like, what is the thing that took her out of commission? Like, you know, was she crushed, stabbed, things like that, but it seems just arbitrary. Like, wear and tear. Okay. There's the fan! Thank you! Thank you, Steel Wool! Clap and a half to you for appreciating the true star of this franchise, the fan. See, still not on though. I question that decision. I feel like the fan needs to be active and moving, but you know, 
the present. I'm, I'm hopeful that that just comes later as the night goes on and the fan becomes more aggressive. So why? Does he say, I'm sorry, I want you, I want you? What's his first words? The second words are, I warned you. Is it, I warned you? Yeah. I think it's, I'm sorry, I warned you. Oh, he, it is, I warned you. I'm saw? I'm saw! I think they might have cut off the rest of that audio file. I'm saw! He's just a really big fan of the Jigsaw series. Yeah. I'm saw! I'm gonna play a game with you! I'm gonna put you in a torture porn! Don't, we're gonna cut that, because I don't want YouTube getting the wrong idea. <laughs> okay, it's I warned you. I, I, I thought it was I want you, like I'm gonna get you, but yeah. But I warned you. Okay, so so this is, he. okay, so that to me says that he does transition between night and day. So during the day he's helpful, mm. but at night, he transitions and becomes an enemy. I'd like to talk about the shoe. Do you have feelings about that? That is a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make them like that anymore. No, they certainly don't. We should. That's we court should put little jingles on our shoes. Why don't we do that anymore? I, you know, I I think it might be because other people would be disturbed by the jingling. <laughs> also, you because think so? also I think people if I would not like that style. If I came in tomorrow with jingle shoes on. Are think, you gonna... Look at all. Look at how much you're moving your feet right now. I, that's that true. would be nightmare <laughs> for the audio. Like you freak out if there's even a slight muffling as my <laughs> as my coat folds in on itself. If if your shoe I'm was jingling, jingling. Literally, you're like, whoa! <laughs> let me just do my little high kicks like a can can dancer over here. Regular, regular, straight out of the Moulin Rouge. They'll be my, my off work shoe. Yeah. They'll be my night out shoe. Yeah, night out. See, <laughs> yeah. see if you're rolling deep with the boys at 3 a.m. in those shoes. I got shoes, my jinglies on. You got your jinglies. <laughs> I got the jinglies. <laughs> rolling deep with the jinglies. See, yeah, that's that's your clubbing shoes okay. right there. Totally. Yeah. It's my dancing shoes. Right? All these guys being like, why don't women talk to me at the club? It's because you don't have your jinglies on. <laughs> Get yourself some jinglies. Alpha male rule number one. <laughs> Alpha male rule number one. Get yourself some jinglies. Right? All these all these huge shoe stores in the mall. Yeah. Not, just, a, not a single jingle. Not a single jingle. I think I think we found ourselves a new market, man. The jinglies. Ah, I love it. Okay, wait, as he falls over, I was I was curious to see if there was anything in the like officer security device that we're looking at as he falls over. Okay, there's a fan. Wash your hand, wash your paws. That's cute. See, look at that. Even even the pizza plex is COVID COVID safe. Wait, do we have paws? It's a <laughs> man. <laughs> man, have you ever been to like a fun childhood thematic? No. No. <laughs> is there no joy? You, know, you just you just yeah. were born and went straight to like I need to save the world. There was no joy. <laughs> So we don't have paws? We, no, we, we do yeah. not have paws. Okay. The paws, see. You act like that is like a crazy question for me to ask. No, when, it's. When Music no. Man exists. <laughs> <laughs> like. No! You're a human. Haven't you ever seen like a thematic poster? <laughs> you know, like, hey, boys and girls, oh, wash your paws. It's because they have Cause paws. It's. It, it, okay. Yes. It, it's a I bear. Have paws. Yeah. If, if, if a bear is teaching you, like, wash your hand, wash your paws like me, a bear. Okay. Who has paws? <laughs> okay, on the security device. So over here, actually, on the security camera, you can see everyone on stage, it looks like. Here. I'm curious about this. I want to I get this one up close. So over here, so it does... Oh, my God. Why is the default? Okay. Um, yeah, so over here you can see on the security tape, right? It looks like everyone is on stage. We have Glamrock, Monty, Chica. No, is that Roxanne? That's Roxanne. It's a weird... Are the, is it really them on stage or is this just a background? It might just be a background because of the repeated imagery. I thought maybe it was different camera angles. Maybe it's just filler. Maybe this is just something to fill up the computer screen that actually doesn't appear in game. Because it does look like just... At first I'm like, oh, this is a camera feed 
of them on stage. But if you look, it doesn't really look like they're on stage. Look oh, maybe they're toys? Maybe this is in the prize corner because they do look awkwardly small and you would expect them to be different sizes. So I think this is actually a shot of maybe the prize corner and like the toys that you can get on the, on the shelf of prize corner. Huh, okay. Let's keep going. Okay, so this was press D to... There was like a very brief clip of like the actual... Press D to push over the cans. <laughs> I like that it's push over the cans, but in actuality it translates to... Heave them all up with the power of your mind. <laughs> like, push over a can. I'd be like, boop, and you would expect them, you know, to tumble and fall. Not lift up from the ground as if summoned by, you know, a higher power and then dropped accordingly. But see, now, now so that says that we've created a, a distraction, which is then luring Chica to the other room. And, and then it allows us safe clearance. So this is a kind of hide and seek style game where we're having to stealth around and avoid getting spotted and ultimately attacked and killed or whatever by the animatronics. See, wash your paws. Yeah, no, I get it now, yeah. The other thing that's interesting here is, is we have a wash your paws, but it's derelict, right? Everything that we've seen of the pizza plex has been very bright and polished. So either... This is A, a subfloor, or the pizza plex is built on top of something else, or B, this is the same building, but again, maybe we as a kid have gone in to an abandoned mall and we're envisioning or imagining or dreaming that this is what it looked like in its glory. Like, can you imagine what this place used to look like or what it was? But in reality, it's this. You know, it's it, what we're actually running around is this like horrific, derelict building. You know, and and the reason I, I, I suspect it's actually that is is it's actually an old building. Is here's that wash your paws poster again, which we saw in the new building. So, I feel like that's drawing a parallel here of like this is all the same place, all from the same time period, but. In some situations, we're seeing it as it is. In some situations, we're seeing it as this, like, falling apart, rotting building. That's really interesting. Okay, so there's Vanny doing her little, doing her little creep. Doing a little creep walk. Um, it seems like we're seeing her through the eyes of Freddy. Okay, huh. So here's us with our flashlight, but we're glitching. So is this, like... That's weird. It's weird that we're glitching, but we have our hand out. So, like, if we were climbing into Freddy and we saw this kind of glitch effect over our eyes, that would make sense to me. The fact that we're in first-person perspective holding a flashlight and still seeing glitches, that makes me think that we're a robot? We're an animatronic? Or maybe Vanny has this effect on you? Maybe this is as she approaches and you get infected by Afton. I'm not sure. This is a weird shot to me, though. Um, the fact that we're seeing it through this filter, but we are seeing it also through the eyes of a human. What we presume to be ourselves, this kid Gregory, this human. Or, like Matt said, maybe it's the security guard. Okay, so there's... So this is him transitioning... Like, hey, I was your friend, and now I'm evil. There's Freddy's. Nothing exciting there. We've seen this. Okay. Okay, so more avoiding Chica. Okay, so wait. What was the, what was the prompt there? I love that the, he's just a mech suit. Welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. The mech game. <laughs> okay, sure. We're just playing with mechs. Why not? Press square to hide in the giant, very visible mech suit. Sure, why not? Okay. Um, okay, so now we're in our mech and we're seeing, okay. So now she's not active. She doesn't care about us anymore. Okay, this is interesting. So again, to forward the idea of FNAF 2, in FNAF 2, they had the scanning software and in the scanning software, they didn't care if you were you know, if you were, they didn't react to kids. Presumably they didn't react to each other either. And so us getting into a suit and having Chica not attack us tells her that we're friendly. So again, 
it feels like these animatronics might be roaming around because they have the FNAF 2 security programming attached to them. Um, also, you'll notice that this bathroom, yeah, mid-level. So we've seen very polished mall, very disgusting derelict bathroom, and now we're seeing kind of like mid-tier bathroom. Okay, so what else are we learning from this? We've got the HUD layout. So we know that we're in Freddy when you see kind of his, we're seeing through his eyes, right? We see the shape of his kind of forehead and where his eyes kind of round out here. So again, that goes back to earlier when we were in the first person perspective as the kid holding the flashlight. So there is a very clear UI difference between being in Freddy and being out of Freddy. Um, apparently being in Freddy also allows us to activate the watch, which we've seen in previous images from the game. There's also a battery. So it seems like the limiting factor here is gonna be Freddy's battery power. Um, and us having him fully charged is what's going to protect us from people like Chica. What is this? Do you see that? Yeah. I wonder what that is. Can I see it any better? Not really. That's suspicious. Maybe that's the tentacle thing. Because we don't know what the tentacle thing is yet. Um, what is that? A little black box. It looks like something out of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Um... Because in this trailer, and we'll see if it shows up, but I didn't see anything with tentacles yet. That, to me, is still, like, one of the biggest questions of this game, is what is that tentacle creature that was hinted at in uh, Fazbear and, or Freddy and Friends? Um, the watch, so activate the watch in Freddy, and then, yeah, this. Anything else? And we know that we're in Freddy because of this. Okay, here we go. So this is us with our flashlight again. Looking around. So I would assume this is a Freddy charging. So going back to the battery stuff, right? This is a charging station. Uh, so we're going to have to make sure that he's nice and full. Down here, stamina, maybe? Like a stamina meter? I'm not sure, but I'm noticing that there's kind of like a decreasing purple meter down there. Uh, what else? Oh, re oh, okay, so there's a flashlight recharge too. So we can recharge Freddy, presumably, and also the flashlight. That's important to know. Man, I wish... Why doesn't anyone just make a flashlight that never dies? Everything always has to charge. <laughs> it's unfortunate. I'm still trying to figure out what purpose a, like, Mechatron suit serves. <laughs> <laughs> like, in the pizza I, establishment. I, you, no, you're, you're right, you know. Like, what's it doing? <laughs> who ordered that? <laughs> who, who asked for this? Uh, well, Matt, uh, clearly, uh, he's just another iteration of the sister location animatronics, which were built oversized, so that way they could shove uh, children inside as capture mechanisms. Right, obviously. This is after you join the series. <laughs> or, the, the, yeah, that, this is happening before you join the right. lore of the series. So okay. in sister location, mm -hmm. it was established that the animatronics are built big enough, some of them, some generations of animatronics are built big enough, so that way they can capture children inside. Okay. And then it serves as a storage ground. So... That could be one explanation for why Freddy is built as a mech suit. Okay. It could also... I, here's my hope. Here's my hope, friends. And we're going to get to the Monty Gator thing that we saw earlier in a second. I hope that there is a moment where there is mecha animatronics fighting That'd each other. That'd be awesome. Like, like, um, like Gundam friends. Wing. Yeah. Yeah, just full on... You know, uh, why, why can't I think of the other one that I just watched not Pacific too long ago? Pacific Rim. Oh, yeah. Pacific Rim is another great example of just, like, duking it out. <laughs> yeah. Glamrock Freddy versus Montgomery Gator just slugfesting it out with, like, a child inside. How insane would that be? Because if you have mech suits in your franchise and you're not getting them to punch each other in the face, what are you doing? You heard it right here, folks. So Steel Wool, if that's not in your game, you have one month to implement it, okay? Your countdown starts now. Okay. See, so she's chasing us when we're out of the suit, but when we're in the suit, we are safe. So the suit is kind of our safe spot. This is weird. And the graphics of these security cameras look like they're out of like a PlayStation 1, like Sega CD style game. <laughs> Graphically. Oh, interesting. Huh. This is the same effect that we saw over, presumably, Gregory's eyes when Vanny was approaching us, too. That This kind of, like, uh, blind. It reminds me of, like, Venetian blinds. Um, 
that which is interesting. Uh, is this Helpy? Helpy uh, from Ultimate Custom Night, uh, our p pizzeria simulator. So it's interesting to see him appearing here. What? Wait, was that just a pop-in frame? What was that? Hold up. This is weird. I, so I'm assuming this is so low res because it's just the cameras, right? I'm assuming this isn't the real graphics. Um, or like, hey, you know, we ran out of budget for this part of the trailer, so, you know, we're just gonna... You should be able to escape in the secure... That's weird. That's a, that is a weird graphical change. Because uh, you would think that even though the cameras might be like low res, that they're not changing the quality of the actual <laughs> characters, right? <laughs> like, like, the polygon count has really diminished in, the, in these scenes. Uh, anything else interesting here? It seems like we're in a security office, obviously. It looks like they're trying to kind of sneak in or grab us. Or maybe the two of them are about to grapple each other. Mechazord style. When the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. See, that to me, this to me seems, screams... security doors reopen at 6 a.m. This to me screams, I am a boss and this is my intro cutscene. Mm. Like, here I come, now I land, and then the battle starts. Which again, I don't know if this is that sort of game, but a FNAF game with bosses would be cool. A FNAF game where you climb into a, a mecha suit seems to afford itself the opportunity to have a slugfest against Montgomery Gator, which would be awesome. Until then, keep again though, what what is... Oh shoot, I hit the wrong button. Again though, what is with these like graphical changes? Until it's then. very odd. Huh. Okay, there we are. So, uh, this is who I think we are, Matt. This, I think oh. this is Gregory, who we see in a previous thing. That's us. Okay. I think. So, I think this is us seeing ourselves on camera as we watch a security camera over here. Okay. And so, we have the UI. Oh, and here's the map. We can actually see the wider map. So, we are in the office. Or maybe, no, this is Montgomery trying to attack us in the office, maybe. And then, wow, it is massive. It seems... Like, is this a big area? This is a big area. It seems pretty massive. Uh, we can also zoom, it looks like, based on kind of this side scroller here and the fact that it's at 1x. So we can zoom in to look for details. It's wild. It's going to be big. I'm, I'm intrigued a little bit about what happened to Montgomery's tail, too. Uh, just from a design standpoint, um, it feels like an interesting detail that his tail is not one consistent color, which I don't know what would lead to that, but it is something that I could see having lore implications in some way, like what actually happened to his tail. Okay, so now we're getting hall two. So we're switching between different cameras. We're also getting a lot, it's interesting, you, we see missions listed up here, we get the whole map, messages, so someone may or may not be communicating with us. Keep moving and try not to draw attention to Until then, and try not to draw. This also, I don't, is this the voice of Freddy? Yeah. Until then, keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. See, that voice doesn't sound like Freddy from the previous trailers, unless I'm mistaken. And it's been a long, I'd, I'd have to hear, hear him side by side. Here, let me, let me hear it real quick. Gregory, coming for you. Here, let's, let's check that real quick. Because I'm curious if it actually is FNAF. Security breach trailer like one, I think it was. Um, I forget when he talks. Where does he talk? Where does he talk? We have to get you back. Shoot. Don't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. Okay. See this, we're not seeing this section at all in the trailers. So they're doing a good job of showing us like bits and pieces here. Right there's You will do as I say. You will bring me what I want. See that voice. And try not to draw attention. Oh I guess I guess it's not the same voice. Is where's that? They won't stop hunting. Where is that? 
Oh wait, why can't I find it? I swear it's in here. Is that the end? I forget. There okay. is more going on here than you realize. Yeah, you're possessed, I know. Are you ready? Okay, that's so that's Afton's voice. I swear it's in here, but I'm just hallucinating now. Well, now I'm just wasting everyone's time. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Hi. I'm s sorry. Gregory. Oh my gosh, I can find. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Maybe it's the same voice, maybe it's not. I thought I was going to prove something. I did not. I wasted everyone's time. I apologize. Here we go. Let's keep going. To yourself. If there is another way out, I will help you. It does seem like they... Okay, this is what we all came for. This is it, fam. Let's go. This is... This is where we get real. This is the part of the trailer that everyone came to see. You got music... Literal giant spike. I love this detail of security doors having a winking uh, glam rock Freddy face. That's actually hilarious. Um, I will help you. All right, fam. This is what we want. Okay, so huge music man, which in and of itself is just incredible. Like this is a work of art right here. The fact that you have a giant. He's so big. It's I know he's a right. What is his purpose? Like, I don't even know. I still, like, I see this. I recognize it. I can identify it as Music Man. I, but, like, what is it? Was he, like, a children's attraction? Because <laughs> that would, like, terrify the kids. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know. So does so does Snow White's Bizarre Adventure no, at Disney World. that's different. <laughs> that is different. I mean, it, I th it could be, though, right? He could be, like, a giant slide or so. You, like, you go into his mouth and he becomes a slide or oh. something. Oh. He he has to be. I don't like I don't even something. know. Or I, I like the idea that they just built him and kept him in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, guys, I got a pitch. <laughs> Let's build a giant six-legged music-themed animatronic. I've, I've I've taken the work. You don't even have to green light. I've already done the work. And they're like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know where we can put him. We'll just throw him in the back for now. We'll, just we'll throw find him, him in the oversized vents that we have. <laughs> right. Well, that's the other thing too. Is like not only. Does he exist? Which in and of itself is ridiculous. Look at his size relative to the lockers. First off, that's that's whole issue one. Two is the infrastructure around this abomination that has to exist in order for him to move effectively through the building. Like, did they build it for him? They, or were they already comically oversized? I think they were already comically oversized. I, I hope, you know? They're like, man, we really need giant Me. ventilation and sewage. Make it as huge as possible. Oh, wouldn't you know, we also have this giant spider animatronic that can get anywhere. Maybe he built them. Like, he's burrowing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Maybe Music Man is the mastermind behind he's everything. He's got a lot of arms. He's got to he get a lot of work done You know quick. what they say, many hands make light work. Totally. I think that's a Chinese proverb. Yeah. <laughs> and the little top hat looks really cool. <laughs> I will say, the top, just the design. I'm sorry. I, I am so excited about this. This is my favorite. I know everything in this game is going to get memed to death, but Music Man is clearly the all-star here. Because it's the combination of teeny hat with <laughs> giant headphones and the hat getting, like, smushed or awkwardly positioned. It's just so redundant on redundant. It's like, what are you thinking They're with this like design? like someone's, like, nephew on steel wool. They were like, <laughs> just let him do it. Like... <laughs> Dude, he'd love it. It'll mean so much to him. He just really... He, Music Man's his favorite character. Come on. Like, really? And they're like, all right, whatever. No one knows this character anyway. Wow. It's amazing. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, in more serious... So, I don't know. I honestly don't know what to make of him. I could see him... I mean, it's a big mall, right? I could see him functioning maybe in the background, like, you know, banging his cymbals, playing... You know... He's the mute. He's the music man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music man. I can see like two of his arms playing the cymbals like we see in Ultimate Custom Night. I can see uh, two of his other arms playing like drums or something. Mm -hmm. Like if I were to concoct an in-universe explanation for like why would you build some monstrosity like this? He is the backup band. 
He mm. is f the the glam rock's backup band, right? He's okay. playing. He's the instrumentals. He's playing that everything that they're not. Yeah. So I think, or he's the DJ. I like that. Mixing it, <laughs> hence That's the cool. headphones, right? He's got like six tracks. Yeah, going. six tracks all going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's sampling. He's sampling from like DJ Khaled or whatever. <laughs> mixing it up oh i cannot wait see in a game that looks utterly insane this this feels <laughs> wins. Like, this is this wins uh in other news interesting details here um i don't know what this arcade game is these characters for some reason look familiar to me and i'm not able to place it um something about the design of like the gray bunny with kind of like the dead sheet or red cheeks and the dead eyes I'm not sure what that is, but that looks interesting to me. And for some reason, it, it's not triggering in my brain what exactly that might be a reference to. But that feels familiar in some way. Then we have Button Mash, the game, which, hey, I appreciate the, the truthful branding in all of this. Look at, what is this? May, maybe, because look at this hatch right here. Mm. Maybe at some point you have to pilot Music Man. That'd be really cool. Which would be mm -hmm. legit. So he's like the game's tank. <laughs> Which again, again, we are talking about a series of animatronic horrors. And now we're talking about mech suits and tanks. If this is the tank that you control, done. Yeah, game, game of the year, year 10 game out of, of 10. <laughs> game of the year. Step aside, what, what did even release? Step aside, Metroid Dread. Look at this. <laughs> this right here. Um, oh, that's weird. What is that? Okay, here, I didn't, I, I briefly noticed this before, but over here you have, like, the FNAF 4 pixelized versions of a Golden Fredbear, who does the Bite of 83, and also the, it's the start of Ultimate Custom Night, or sorry, the, the start of Pizzeria Simulator, where there's a game and it's kind of this pixel style, and the hamburgers too? Are those like decorations or stickers? That's weird. This is strange. This is strange. I want to see if they're on a shelf or if they're just like peeking there as, as an Easter egg or something. Um, real quick, let's check this out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's on an old video game cabinet. You can tell. Yeah, it's a, huh. So the, I'm curious about that. So this is a video game based around the character like 1983. So. Huh. That's really fascinating to me. So this seems like a 1983 old arcade cabinet uh, inspired by, like, the events of FNAF 4. Kind of weird. Or the cutscenes that we see in FNAF 4. Odd. I promise. Okay, so this, is, so this is continuing the scene that we saw earlier where we hopped in the mech suit. So this is... They just kind of spliced up where the gameplay was going. Um... But we see that we're able to get past Chica in the suit. So the, in the suit, we are protected. Okay, now you have your little intro cutscene here. Anything interesting here? This is... This is the, like, okay, here's our high-budget shot that's going to kick off the game. I mean, I appreciate this. Kitar. Kitar is solid, man. Okay, so this is them kind of starting to show you gameplay mechanics, right? So already we can see that we're going to have other items in addition to the flashlight, uh, including this Polaroid camera, which is going to stop them in their tracks. So that's good to know. Or Roxanne's weakness is getting flashed, which, you know. But we also have this guy. So these are like the serve bots or whatever, the, the kind of like helper robots around the, the mall, around the pizzeria. And he's also seems to be like actively... Is he actively chasing us or is he... Yeah, see, he's, see, it stunned both of them. So the Flash stunned both of them to give us a chance to escape. Chica, meanwhile... So there we definitely see her busted up, but she... So there's going to be an opportunity for them to chase us while they're busted up, but also not. We're also... Wow! This is all made of trash bags. So it's a tunnel made of trash bags. It's a dream sequence. Where we're like fusing together trash, but it's weird. They've made a a tunnel through a uh, like a landfill or something here. But we are kind of descending into you know 
some sort of trash land or whatever, and we're discovering either old abandoned versions of these same animatronics or something like that, um, discarded versions, scrapped versions, which makes sense why we're seeing Chica in this, in this circumstance without her beak and things like that. So it makes me wonder, have we flashed forward in time to when Chica is destroyed? Are we destroying her throughout the course of the game? Have, are there multiple versions of her and one has been scrapped? It's really interesting. All right, there's Montgomery. Okay, so Monty is just showing off that he's strong. Mega Pizzaplex, anything in the re reflections. We see Chica, we see Freddy. Yeah, it's just kind of everyone on their various positions. I didn't know if there would be like an Easter egg hidden in the corners of this thing. No, okay, so here... Okay, look at him. He's strong. He's strong boy. Strong boy. And he's... Okay, so there... Again, this seems like it might be continuing that, like, boss intro or something. Like, he's... This is him stepping up into a minigame, I would expect. So, th similar to American Gladiators. You ever watch American Gladiators? It is very American Gladiators. Right? This yeah. feels American Gladiators to me, where he's going to be up on a raised platform. He's got the, like, oh, gun or yeah. whatever. I believe... Totally. Uh, what's the name of it? Accelerator? No. Uh, shoot. Challenge? It's it's some generic, like, one. all the games in American Gladiators have, like, one-word titles. But basically, it's this game where, like, the gladiator is at the top, and he's behind a, a big gun, and it's the challenger's job to dash from save point to save point, trying to launch things at a target that, in turn, like, eliminates the gladiator, right? And they have, like, the rocket launcher, the, like, balls that you throw, the the awkward thing that's never going to win. Um, this reminds me of that very heavily, where he's behind the cannon, and then it's, it's your job to kind of get to the end while he's aiming at you. That's what I see in that moment. And then there's Freddy. See, so here's Freddy glitching out, right? And I think this is a very important thing, which shows that he's breaking from his established programming or he's not behaving properly which is probably why yeah so this is going to be i i suspect this is going to be from the beginning of the game where he wakes up like he's glitching out something has happened to him which is a, the reason why he's protecting gregory integrity huh his integrity level is low hmm the mech suit is programmed with an integrity level <laughs> Right, obviously. Yeah, clearly. Why not? You know? <laughs> his integrities have really... So over the course of the game, you have to boost his integrity level by doing... Doing good deeds. By doing good like deeds for everyone. Following through on what you yeah. say. <laughs> Being true to your word. <laughs> that's a... You know what? That's a mech suit with integrity right there. Huh? Okay, there's, there doesn't seem to be much else in the code that I'm seeing in the corners here. Test. Show. So he goes from show mode to whatever. Okay, see, his integrity drops to zero here. <laughs> Which is a shame. He told a lie. He did. <laughs> so I passed out. He's like, oh man. Please make okay, so his integrity drops to zero. Which then is either breaking his code or maybe that's... I, I, I don't know exactly what that means, but this seems to be at some point he has a change of heart that he's either helping you or... Hint, like he was programmed to capture you, something happens and now he helps you or vice versa. Uh, and it's probably tied to this integrity level right down there, which Please is really interesting. The the building, you... Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. There's so much stuff on screen right now. You will Luckily, it's moving. Oh, no! Novelty glasses of... Okay, Please integrity level. The front of the building, where you will be given novelty glasses, a voucher for one free soda refill, okay, no. and where you will sign a legal disclaimer releasing us of all liability for anything that might have happened during your visit. I love that this is a kid's game. No, it's not a kid's game, but I love that this is a franchise about, like, animatronics and stuff where liability laws <laughs> are, like, a thing that exists. And everyone's like, that's a funny joke. Good. Good for you, Five Nights at Freddy's, teaching the world about signing away your rights. <laughs> And, and what corporate liability is. Nice. Contract law. Have an awesome night, and we'll see you again soon. Love it. Great. Okay. This is... What are these things? Are they entire? So now we get to finally see what they are. Oh, there's a lot here. This is weird. Okay. 
This is very strange. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Okay. So here, we're in trash land. So this is continuing where we saw Chica in that one, in that weird moment in the tunnel where we're walking through a landfill, we're walking through a garbage dump, whatever. It seems like there's a hand that jump scares us. And we're, or, yeah, it seems like they, okay, so they pull us down into the depths of this, like, trash land. And they're made... It's not a wood hand. It's an old rusted hand, right? Because at first I'm like, Does, uh, is that a wood hand? But no, that's an old, like, metal rusted hand. And then you're pulled into the depths. Where you see these guys. This is weird. In your dreams. In your dreams. Which, again, goes to that, like, are we in a real building? Is this... Is it a dream thing? In your dreams. Why would it say in your dreams on an animatronics body? Are you safe in your dreams? I don't know. That's weird. I, I mean, it, it goes to kind of what we were talking about before, which is, you know, my questioning of, are we in a real building? Is this an old building? Um, are we discovering like an old abandoned warehouse underneath this stuff? Uh, is it dream sequences? Is it not? This is, it's a very odd phrase, though, to be on, on them. Um, and it seems like these are smaller individual prototypes or, or smaller animatronic bodies, uh, like earlier versions of these characters uh, that existed. But they do seem fully functional animatronics. It, weird. Weird. But they are, dis they are in this, like, trash landfill area, and they're pulling you down into them. So I, this seems to me more like, I don't know if this is... I don't think this is a death screen. I think this is like a scripted cutscene, if I were to call where this is coming from. In your dreams. That's that's really <laughs> It looks like that photo from the Oscars. Ha! It does! <laughs> it does! I love it. Yay! It's actually what they inspired inspired by. Yeah, no, totally. Well, actually, fun fact, all those actors, yeah. that's this is what they really look like without their makeup. <laughs> right. This is it, right here. Uh it's interesting, right? I don't know if this is just a, a modeling thing or what, but based on how they look, they actually don't have mouths. Um, they're just painted on to look like mouths and teeth, which leads me to believe that maybe they're not as dangerous as we thought, or maybe they're just they're dangerous because they're piling onto us, but they're not gonna like bite us or anything. Um, I think that's a really interesting detail that these aren't fully functional. These are just like fake heads. Um, basically glorified like animatronic mannequins almost. In your dreams, it's an interesting, it's interesting. Why would you write that in marker on an animatronic's body? I don't know. Huh. Would you like to take a short survey about your experience? Great. Love it. And then 1216. There you go. Okay, that's cool. There's a lot here. It's a lot. So Matt, you, you, you hype? I'm hype. Are you hype? Deaf. Deaf Def, hype. Deaf hype? <laughs> Hype AF? I am, actually. I'm excited. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious to see how all this fits together. Because, again, like I called out before, we're seeing a lot of new stuff. We're seeing a lot of stuff that... Or we're seeing a lot of new stuff. And we're not seeing a lot of stuff that we've seen before. So I'm curious how it all plays together. Uh, Matt, you pulled together some some Reddit posts? I did. Okay. We can we can take a little walk through them. Okay. Did you? Um, this is not a specific one. This is you just... No, that's just the Reddit being open in case you want that, to. This is the Reddit. Okay. Have a thank, fun. thank you. I appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. Here, let's have a specific. Oh, there it is. Yes. <laughs> Bumpty head. Colin, I love the new trailer, but bruh. Why is it? It's, I mean, cameras, cameras have different levels of quality, but I don't think... They like de-render character models. It does. It really does look like a Sega CD kind of animation. <laughs> oh, it's really funny. Camera footage from security cameras in banks. Uh, it does. It looks like Roblox. Roblox. It does. They're trying to appeal to the Roblox crowd. It's true. <laughs> the image is too high quality. Security footage in real life isn't too advanced. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's a lore thing because many of the people working in the pizza plex don't think anything ever goes wrong. So it'd be a waste to invest in better cameras. <laughs> Just rely on the animatronics. Assuming that he looks like he has almost no lighting, it's safe to assume they hadn't added lighting yet. 
he's just really low poly. Yeah, it's low poly account. Uh, seems like they were purposely trying to make the graphics look old that it can emulate what real security. Yeah, I, I don't know if this is truly how a real security camera, even at low quality, would make it look. I think it would just be grainier, right? Anyway, I think it's I think it's funny. I don't care. I, I'm, I'm not knocking it. I, I am not a, a graphics guy, but I did notice it's like, oh, I don't think that's how security cameras work, but sure. Uh, music Man! Yeah! <laughs> See? <laughs> Everyone! Yeah, buddy! Music Man! The Obamasphere and I, th we know what's up. We know what's up. I don't like how I can see something inside of his face. You can see something inside of his face. Wait, what? Oh, I, is that like what? Speaker, maybe? Like a big speaker? That wouldn't surprise me. Like, again, if he's the band or whatever, if that's a big speaker or something inside of him. Are his teeth teeth? The teeth are weird to me. I think it might be a keyboard. That's what I was thinking is, yeah. like, a piano Right? Thing. It feels more piano-y yeah. than anything because it, it is odd. Because it's like, why would they just give him teeth? Random, right? Why is he back? Music man. I love how big he is. So great. I love that they gave him ear defenders. They gave him ear, de ear Those, defenders. Ear de they're, they're headphones, guys. <laughs> they're, they're head He's music man. He's got headphones. Probably to avoid the sound. Like, they're not ear. They're headphones, guy. Look, you know, Beats by Dre. He's listening to his Beats by Dre. I I know that we're all firm believers in the quality audio experience that Raycon wireless earbuds provide us. But back in the day, we used these over ear microphones or headphones. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. I love it. I love it so much. Um, music Man is my hero. What do you think these things are? Yeah, I'm curious. What, what's the thought here? My nightmare for the next five weeks. Okay. Retired and then vandalized staff bots. That's interesting. I could see that. That makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know why people still think they're crying children. Can five dead kids not be significant for once? Uh, dead children is always significant, no matter what number, okay? FNAF characters. That's that's correct. I think they're nightmare fuel. Okay, great, thanks. I, staff bots. I, I think that's a good idea. Uh... My first thought is that they're creepy versions of the mini arenas. I thought that maybe initially, but the fact that they actually have animatronic hands and like robot hands makes me think that they're not. Because the mini arenas are much more like doll-like or kind of wooden figure-like. Um, so yeah, I think, I think again, the serve bots, like early versions of serve bots or retired serve bots. Because you'll also notice that they don't have feet. Uh, that those are kind of buried under there or underneath the trash pile. Which again makes me think, and you'll notice that the staff bot that we see roaming around has like a Segway kind of body or a big wheeled body. So I think that's why we're only seeing the top half of them. The Freddie Mercury pose. I noticed that pose. Awesome. It's because Glamrock Freddie is like Freddie Mercury. Freddie, Glamrock Freddie Mercury. Beautiful. And then they sing, and then the whole game. The, you know, that's where the render budget went to, guys. They couldn't afford better graphics for the security cameras because they spent all their money trying to license Bohemian Rhapsody <laughs> for FNAF Security Breach. Uh, oh, hey, Security Breach gameplay info uh, from the PlayStation blog from Smear Reddit here. Stealth and Speed, the animatronic Roxy, Chica, and Monty have been enlisted by Pizzaplex Security to hunt you. Okay. So the three of them, Roxy, Chica, Monty. Their pursuit is a relentless one. Strategizing how you'll get past enemies is paramount to avoid those actively pursuing you, as well as more passive staff bots that will sound the alarm. Okay, so the staff bots are, are hunting us and will alert the main guys, and then the main guys will come to the location. Okay. In the event you're detected, run to escape the immediate danger quickly, but running is limited to the amount of stamina. Okay, so that's the purple bar at the bottom. That I was right, so use it wisely. Animatronics also evolve as the night progresses, which means that you'll need to adapt. All right, Freddy Fazbear himself is the most dependable ally, acting as a guide and protector. Okay, giving you shortcuts, insider tips, and warnings about the challenges. Uh, you can hop inside of Freddy's oversized birthday cake hatch. It's his oh, birthday cake. Come on, Matt. It's his... Oh. Duh, it's where the birthday cake goes. <laughs> Obvi. You know, every robot has the birthday cake <laughs> No, hatch. totally. And there's, like, controls inside. Yeah. Of the birth, so the birthday cake. Can so the control. birthday cake can ob yes, yeah, no, obviously, yeah, hundred percent. And there's a visor, like you stick your head, the birthday cake sticks its head. It's into gotta the, be able to breathe. Yeah, it does. You know, it's you gotta, gotta aerate your cake. Right. Maybe that's a gameplay mechanic. Maybe you pass mm. out if you hang out in the birthday cake hatch for too long. Right. 
I like that they kind of came up with an explanation yeah. for why this makes and sense, honestly, but it's, not quite there. It's a good enough explanation. It's, it's, good, it's good enough to be like, oh, okay. And then if you think about it, even a second longer, like, you're like, a, no. In a world where Music Man exists, I'll take this. In a world where Music Man <laughs> exists. This is fine. I, 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 any world where Music Man exists is a world I want to live in. It's the best. Uh, allowing you to hide and march around undetected. You'll need to be thoughtful about how and when to use Freddy because he's got so much power and requires a recharge. Okay, so I was right about that. Good. Um, Pizzaplex is vast, and while it means more staff bots required for upkeep, it also means there's no shortage of hiding spots to pop into for a speedy invasion. Evasion. Um, it also means a ton of security cameras that you can access on your Faz watch, allowing you to plan your path. That's cool. You can also knock over different objects. You can heave them up and drop them, because, you know, you're a small boy that can do that sort of thing. Like paint cans and toys to draw the enemy's attention. You will have to slip away before they get to your location, so make sure the distraction's worth the risk. Some weapons can stun enemies like the camera, oh, camera, and Faz Blaster. The Faz Cam acts as an immediate stun. Okay, for, wow, this is like very explicit in what you're doing for the entire area in front of you. Staggering attackers just long enough to escape. Fortunately, it has a limited number of uses before it requires a recharge. Faz Blaster is unlimited ammo, but you'll need to land a direct headshot. <laughs> Boom! Headshot, Montgomery Gator! Bam! Wow. So now we also have first-person shooter. That's what staff... First-person shooter. Freddy Fazbear's first-person shooter, which is not so easy when an animatronic alligator has practically leaped on top of you. There is so much more on top of all of this that we can't wait to share with you. Unique office escape games... Boss battles! I called it! Oh no! That's nuts! A FNAF game with boss battles is insane. More enemy types and even fully playable arcades. That's where the lore is, I guarantee. Fully playable arcades. We're gonna play that FNAF 4 mini game thing, and that's gonna reveal something through us. That's. Huh. That's really interesting. December 16th. That's really interesting, those playable arcade games. Huh. Super excited. Ella? That's where I know them from! Yeah! That's right! Okay. For those, for those of you who don't know, Matt clearly knows. Um, these, are, these are references to the books. Um, so in the Fazbear Frights series, uh, there aren't images. Like, there was originally a plan for there to be images, but those eventually got scrapped. Um... Oh, but these are actually from the comic. Okay, so there's a couple different routes. So I believe in the... What is it? It's the comic book versions of the initial three novels, uh, the Silver Eyes novels. You had characters that looked like this. And this is how they're visualized. So these are actually, I believe, from the comic book, right? Just a cameo. Multiverse. Yeah. This is really weird how they're going to explain it. Yeah, it's got to be... Why is no one discussing <laughs> Music Man? Music Man. The books and the games aren't connected, they said. Yeah. Yeah, so this, I believe, yeah, Ella and Theodore are... Ella was one of the dolls that our protagonist Charlie in the Silver Eyes books grew up with. Um, so she's there. That's really interesting. Um, Theodore, too. So this looks like it's an Easter egg for the Silver Eyes comic books slash Silver Eyes novels. That's really interesting. Huh. Yeah, I think that's got to be just an Easter egg or like a inspired by story. That's really weird. That's where I knew them from. I'm like, I, I can't place where they are, but I've recognized them. I'm so glad that someone called it out. Uh, Security Breach TV office is in the trailer. Oh, that's a great point. I didn't even notice that, but they're totally right. This is where we've been tuning in every two weeks for new episodes of uh, the Freddy and Friends but there's the screen that eventually gets broken. There's the TV that gets broken. And that's the button that we are pressing. Good call. I missed that one. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Someone painted the staff bot's faces to look like Nightmare on. Same tears, smile, and teeth. And wrote in your dreams on their chest. Huh. I mean, they are very similar. But they, that could also just, you know, they're very similar. That could also just be like, we, we drew spooky faces. I doubt Vanny would paint them. It's cool how Nightmare On has been made into... Yeah, right? That's the thing. Nightmare On is one of the few characters in the franchise that is is officially not canon at all, right? Uh, 
I think. I always have to double check that. But it is interesting that they might be trying to like allude to it here. That's really interesting. And then lastly, yeah, El Chips. We, we knew El Chips was coming in at some point because uh, we had seen a reference to El Chips in a previous trailer. So we knew that that was a thing. The Return of the King. Chipper and Sums Lumber Company finally getting his chance at the big stage. There you go, buddy. Good for you. It only took you 20 years. I don't know how old Chipper and Sons Lumber Company is, but that's awesome. So there you have it, friends. Uh, I'm really intrigued. Uh, this came out much earlier than I expected, but also I didn't expect a trailer, which was dumb of me because it's like it's a video game. Of course, there's going to be a trailer at some point. Um, very cool stuff. A lot of interesting details here. Seems like it's going to be huge. I'm curious how it's, it, it's huge. It just seems like there's going to be a lot to do. And I think the challenge of this is ultimately going to be, it's going to be easy to win. My guess, it's going to be easy to win. Cause like they say, there's a lot of places that you can hide. And if your goal is to just survive until 6am, I have a feeling that you should be able to do that fairly easily. I say, watch me be completely wrong. The challenge though, I think is going to come when it forces you into different circumstances or if you're trying to unlock the good ending, uh, which is going to involve you having to go to all of these different places and run directly into harm's way in order to solve the mystery, stop the animatronics, save Vanny, I don't know. Um, but there's a lot going on. You'll also notice that Vanny was not mentioned in that gameplay uh, breakdown where they're like, there's animatronics that are after you as part of the security device. Nothing about murder bunny suit person with their knife. That seems like a key detail that probably should be included in gameplay summary somewhere, uh, but it's not. So that's one of those big reveals too. So anyway, very cool stuff. Uh, very intrigued about where all this is going. Uh, and I'm curious to see your thoughts too. So let me know if there's anything I missed or any new angles that you see some of this stuff with in, in the comments below. I, I love reading kind of your thoughts through all of these speculation videos because there's a lot to pick at. Um, and I guess, you know, we have like a month and a half at this point before it happens. So we'll see friends. We have an official countdown starting today, which is really, really exciting. So until then there's, I think one final Fazbear Frights book coming out in a couple days. Um, that's the final like official Fazbear Fright book. We'll see if there's anything that comes of that. Uh, but otherwise then it's just kind of waiting for this. We'll see if there's any more episodes of Freddy and Friends to react to, but it feels like this is kind of where it was all building to. Um, so yeah, December 16th can't come soon enough. We'll see it. Anyway, in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!